How you doing? Good. So coach said that um, you know he watched the replay of Will's uh, foul and there was nothing there really, and he was pretty broken up about it because he didn't really do anything wrong. How did you guys rally around Will after that play? Obviously he was heartbroken to have to leave the game. I mean, yeah, we just tried to you know try to keep him uplifted, you know, tell him that we got his back because he was really because we need him in that point in time. He felt like he let us down and stuff, but we were just really just trying to you know. Motivate him and let him know that we got his back and just try to just keep pushing. How much do you guys want to have? You know, another big crowd for Arizona, kind of similar to SC. How much do you guys want to have a good showing um, Thursday just for the crowd and at home? I mean, that would be big for us. You know, we, we just really, our main focus is competing and going out there playing as a team, as a unit, and, uh, you know, just hopefully coming up with our hands held high. How would you assess the team's level of urgency at this point in the season, given where you guys are right now in the standings? I mean, you know, I feel like, you know, it's still more to be done. It's still a lot to be done, and we're still developing. You know, that's a big key for us, just developing every day and working on getting better. But I feel like, you know, there's still more steps that we could take, you know, to get into those winning columns a lot more. But right now, the main focus is just working hard and just developing. Sebastian, you've often post game, especially when you guys are winning or it's a close game, you kind of talked about, you know, just having that fight. And I think that's what everybody's asking. Like, how do you feel like the, where do you feel like the level of fight is with, you know, just two home games left? I mean, I feel like, I feel like it's there. You know, we be going after it in practice. We just got to just be able to maintain it throughout the complete 40 minutes and then uh, we'll be fine. Coach said it, um, no freshmen are really prepared to pay play college basketball uh, and he said there's been a little bit of a learning curve with some of the international players on how physical the game could be how's it how's it been for you has it been a little surprising just really how physical college basketball is yeah you know it really it very it was really like a big learning curve for me you know that I had to you know watch film reevaluate certain things change my games a little bit but I mean I always knew it was for the best so it was, it was a big difference though for sure how do you think you've developed from the beginning of the season until now I feel like I'm a little more wiser about I'm thinking the game a little better. And I feel like I'm developing as a more of a complete player and not just, you know, single-minded on one thing. When you think back to that first game against Arizona, what stands out about their backcourt? And what do you guys need to do uh, against them this time around? I would probably just say, you know, maintain and just play team. Be, and just just work, work as a unit on both ends of the floor. Sebastian, what else have you learned about yourself um, being that you you know, showing the ability to play through your toe injury. I mean, I always know it's tough, you know. It's just, you know, just keeping my head up. Cause, you know, sometimes I do feel defeated, you know, like it hurts bad. But, you know, everybody in this level is hurt. You know, you just got to keep playing through it and just keep going out there and compete. Is there one particular thing that makes it harder to do as far as your mobility because of that toe injury? Um, Maybe a few things. It just bothers me a little bit, but... And that's not really an excuse. I can still go out there and play with my fellas and, and show complete toughness and go out there and play. Good. Yep, thank awesome. you.